I'm Jade from Wax Photo Video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 100 to 400 millimeter zoom lens for Fujifilm X mount. We're here at Coda Falconry where we're going to be putting this lens to the test. We've paired it with the Fujifilm X-H2S where we're going to be photographing these incredible birds. It's been designed for fast paced action as well as macro photography. It has an AF function switch and an AF function button. It also has improved optical stabilization built right in. Look at this little guy. Hello. Very talkative. I wonder why they call him Squeak. Hi guys, I'm Luke, I come from Coda Falconry. Uh, we're a bird of prey center and we fly a bird's prey free. Uh, we do experience days, we do displays. This fella here, this is Rico. He's a Harris Hawk. He comes from places like Central America and Southern America. Well, let's get straight into it. So, um, he's off. My first impressions holding this lens is that it's really well built. It's constructed of 22 elements in 16 groups. It has nine aperture blades with a rounded diaphragm as it weighs in at 1,135 grams. So we just set up for the first shot of the day and uh, our lovely talent Rico has flown off completely, um, which is a little bit awkward, you could say. It's worth mentioning that this lens covers full frame cameras, meaning on a APS-C camera, you're gonna get great coverage and minimal light fall off. You're also effectively getting a focal range of 150 millimeters to 600 millimeters, meaning you're gonna get that extra reach on APS-C cameras. This is ideal for capturing those distant subjects without any additional teleconverters. I do apologize for the audio. I think there might be an airport around here. I am really impressed with the autofocus on this lens. For those of you who shoot on Fujifilm cameras, you'll be very aware of the issue with shooting with optics that aren't native to the X-mount system. But having an ultra telephoto zoom lens native to the X-mount system with quick, responsive autofocus is honestly game-changing. It just gives you that peace of mind that even in the worst of shooting conditions, your images will turn out crispy crisp. So I mentioned earlier that they have updated the AF to MF switch on the lens. It's now got an AF to AFL switch. This has mainly been done to just smooth out compatibility across different camera bodies with different camera software, just giving you that smooth experience across different camera systems. The AF switch could also be toggled between AF lock and AF function on the fly. If you want to use the really responsive focus ring on the lens, you can do so by enabling it within the menu system. So this is Dizzy, this is our lovely bar now. Uh, she's a little bit slower than the other guys, so we'll see what she wants to do today. So you're probably quite excited to learn a bit about this lens. Even on really bright days like today, this lens performs really well with flaring. So the front element is coated with Sigma's super multi-layer coating, which effectively minimizes flaring and ghosting and all those sort of nasties that you don't want in your images. It's really important to remember that with this lens that it has a variable aperture. That's from f5 to f6.3. The aperture will automatically shift as you go through the focal ranges. From around 100 millimeters to 135, it will be f5. From there, it will go to f5.6. And then around 220 millimeters, it will shift to its final aperture of 6.3. 
This is definitely something to take into account when shooting. I'm really impressed with just how sharp this lens is, but let's take a closer look. So shooting wide open at f5 at 100mm, there is some slight softness in the corners, but it's really not noticeable. I think they look great. At 400mm wide open, the softness in the corners is a little bit exaggerated, but I think this adds character to your shots and gives that kind of dreamy effect. Docking down at 100mm, sharpness is immediately improved. And this is the same at 400mm as well. It's really refreshing to have an ultra telephoto lens that performs well through all of the actual ranges. Macro and portrait photographers can also utilize the 1 to 4 of 1 magnification ratio and the close focus distance of 160 centimeters at 400 millimeters. This will allow you to capture really close up details whilst getting some creative background compression. I think having the best of both worlds with this lens is just simply amazing. You can reach subjects far away as well as get extra sharp details close up. Having such a feature packed lens offers the photographers the chance to be creative without having to overload your bag with multiple lenses and at the end of the day, save your bag. As the lens has been optimized for Fujifilm cameras, the stabilization effect has also been increased from four to five steps. Just check out how shaky it is with no optical stabilization. But the moment that you turn it on to optical stabilization mode one, you can see it has improved magnificently as well as on optical stabilization 2, where it is dramatically improved. It seems like this lens would be absolutely brilliant for a travel photographer. I think this lens is a fabulous option for getting that extra reach, whether you're shooting macro, live events, or even just a bit of action. I really like the character of this lens. It's not too in your face, and it just gives you that subtle little something something to your images. This lens is available on L-mount, Sony E-mount, and now of course, Fujifilm's X-mount. F5 to F6.3 isn't the fastest we've seen in a telephoto lens. However, in today's world, with modern sensors with great low light capabilities, this really shouldn't be an issue. As well as having that higher f-stop range, you'll be able to have crispy crisp images. This lens goes on sale this fall for $899.99. I think that price is really competitive and you won't find a similar focal range for that kind of price. I really wish they included the tripod socket mount in the box. However, you can buy this separately depending on your needs. So there we have it. A fantastic, versatile, ultra telephoto zoom lens delivering ultra sharp images. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow us on our social channels and let us know what you thought in the comments below. I've been Jade from Wex Photo Video and I'll see you next time. So Luke, why are owls so good at math? Oh. It's because they're good at algebra.